get started, I'm working on this 10 by 20 inch canvas, uh, gallery wrapped, I've already taped the back of it, and um, I'm going to do a swipe. I haven't done one in quite a while. I haven't done any painting with lit art in quite a while, but I wanted to start with this. I got my new color in, I'm so excited, Bordeaux Red by Arteza. Last time I tried to order it, they were out, so I am thrilled, and I bought a big one. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I'm going to use white as my base, and then I'm going to swipe through it with um, my Amsterdam, yeah, Amsterdam white and Australian Floetrol right here until I've used it a few times. And then the colors I'm going to be using are my Bordeaux Red, Teal, love it, Golden. This is Payne's Gray by Golden. Quinacridone Magenta by Golden, and then Iridescent Gold Fine by Golden. So, real pretty, pretty colors. Okay, got flecks of gold leaf everywhere. <laughs> I've been using gold leaf in some of my uh, abstract art. All right, put me a good size petal here in the middle. Go. I'm just going to stretch out just a hair. Don't need a whole lot stretched yet because I'm going to stretch it after I put my colors and do my swipes. Okay. Swap my air bubbles. 2023. It's going to be a good year. Had a, quite a few things going on last year. It was one of those just weird years. Things just kept seem to happen and happen and happen. So, hopefully this year, it'll be a little calmer. All right. I am going to, this is that Bordeaux red. Love it. And I think I'm going to do, yeah, just one big swipe. You know, I don't think I have enough paint. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. Even though I'm going to stretch it out again in a minute. I just felt like I needed a little bit more. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Look at there. Already went off. Out of practice. <laughs> That's what happens. All right. Let me torch again. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to start with the Bordeaux Red. I guess I really like Bordeaux Red. That's kind of a lot. That's all right. Two. And I'm leaving a little bit of space. Probably won't stay that way. In fact, I'm pretty sure it won't. But remember I said I had some gold leaf? There's a flake right there. I'm telling you, I've got gold leaf everywhere. And I tried to clean it up. And you go to sweep it up. And it just floats and flies everywhere. Okay. This is that teal. go. My paint's gray. There we go. I don't have a whole lot of this paint's gray. Didn't, I didn't make a lot. And this magenta is so pretty. And I've got something in it too. Just can't seem to <laughs> keep things from floating in my paint. All right. And this, isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty. And then I'm going to drizzle the gold. Let me get my stick here. Where did it go? There it is. I'm going to drizzle the gold over these. I'm not going to do a solid line. There we go. We will see how this turns out. The colors are gorgeous. I did a test piece. I do lots of test pieces um, on canvases that... I didn't like the way something turned out or it buckled or, you know, something's happened to the canvas for one reason or another. And I use them over and over and over again. Um, that's just, I don't want to waste my canvases. And so, I use them to test paints, paint colors together, um, just all different things. Gorgeous. Okay. Pop those air bubbles. Still have some in here. And I think I'm gonna do one more over here. 
yeah. Get one more right here. You know, I change my mind all the time, which, you know, that's part of the creative process. And the paint's gray, same order. There we go. And let me drizzle a little bit of my gold in there. There we go. Okay, better. Till I just mix my paint, there's lots of bubbles. All right, I'm gonna take my palette knife and I'm just gonna put some of this white with Australian Floetrol. You don't need a ton. Okay. I actually think I'm gonna start with this one. Just go slowly over them. Wow, so pretty. And more is gonna come up as I go. Oh, look. So, so pretty. Okay, get a little bit more. There we go. That is gorgeous, right here. You can see I went under my paint there, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna wipe my palette knife off this time. And that's okay with that. And I'm gonna come over here. I just love the colors together. Okay, get a little bit more white. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot. And I want to start this one right there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is a pretty stripe. <laughs> That's not what I was going for, but I like it. All right. The thing about fluid art, you get unexpected surprises. Some are good and some are not good. That one's a good one, I think. Okay, I'll come back and I'm gonna do both of these. Pushing the colors very slowly. Whoops, went under the paint again, see that? Which that's all right. Oh, I love the colors. There's that white between the two. So pretty. Probably gonna need that negative space. It's not bad. All right, last one right there. Okay, load my palette knife back off. Oh, looky here, where I wiped it. So pretty. <laughs> some stripes. I don't want it to be that dominant over here either. So I'm going to take a smaller palette knife. Let's see. Okay, I've got a little bit of that Amsterdam mixture. The flow troll. There we go. Didn't want that quite as dominant. And then I'm gonna come in. Okay. 
There's a real pretty stripe. I don't know if you can see it. It's real pretty right there. Drop it aside. I think I want to go back over this one. Right here, go that way. Just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing right there. Yeah, I really love that. Look at brought that Payne's gray up. Gorgeous. Love the way it's bringing the Payne's gray up. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, put my gloves on here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely need to put my gloves on and move my paint because I'm notorious for tipping paint. Pop the air bubbles real quick. I think I want to stretch this. I think I'm going to go this way first and then stretch it back. No, I'm going to do it this way first. Okay. Stretch it over here. There we go. Don't want to lose that paint's gray. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 I'm going to add a little bit more paint over here just so it'll flow easily. way too much, but I'm heavy-handed if you know me. Oh, wow. Stretch it down. Oh. And then come. Oh, I love it. I'm trying to get this corner. Here, I'll turn it so you can, well, it's not a very good way to turn it. Let me turn it this way. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. And I want to bring some of this over here is what I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm sorry. Some of this over here. I turned my canvas and <laughs> When you're stretching, you have to be mindful that, of course, the entire canvas is going to move. Come back just a hair back towards me. This way. Oh, my word. I am in love with the colors. Oh, my goodness. Truly love it. I lost a lot of the gold. Now, it may appear when um, it drops. Oh, but I'm loving this. Stretching out this corner over here. Because I just love that corner. <laughs> there we go. I wasn't as fond of this, so I stretched it out. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down to show you some of the details. And there's colors inside of colors. It is so pretty. All right, here it is. I could not be happier with the outcome. Look at the gorgeous colors. Love this color palette. It does seem like I lost some gold. However, it's in there. It's just hard to capture on camera. Just look at the depth. I love the way the teal came over this magenta and made that beautiful teal lacing. It is gorgeous. I just love that. 
such depth. That Bordeaux red is gorgeous. These cells got a little wonky over here. And there's a there's some gold right here. But it is still beautiful. But yeah, I love all the different colors. I've got some teal lacing. There's some gold lacing right there. Some pink lacing. Every color is showing up. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, I'll show you the dried results. All right, here are the dried results. Let me take you in. I just think it turned out really pretty. Love the color palette, which I said before, but it is just, I will definitely be using these colors again. I like it. Like I said, I lost some of the gold, but there are hints in here. Look at just the mixture right here. I mean, I, that is so pretty. No. Border red right here. Gorgeous color. It's by Arteza. And there's some gold. I've hung it vertically and horizontally. Look at the side. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And I cannot decide which way I like it best. So here it is vertically. And let me show you horizontally. I cannot decide. Let me know which, which way you like it. There's that gold showing up. Now this is not varnished. This is just the way it dried. But the richness is so pretty. I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel and you like the content, please think about doing so. It is free. You can also leave me a comment or suggestion and I will get back to you. But thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, you have a great day. Bye.